Does life suck? And you want a simple way to help start getting your life better? This video might just be for you. Yeah, I know, I actually said it. This video might be for you. When you're going through a difficult time in life, we have a tendency to forget to be focusing on the good because we get caught up in the drama of everyday life. I have a lot of family drama going on at the moment. Yeah, a lot of family drama. And I would like to just run away to the beach. Well, I can't. So instead, I have to find a way to let the universe deliver good to me. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. I mean, we all have affirmations out there that says, you know, life is getting better. So you can do what Jose Silva said and say life just keeps getting better and better. He says you should make that your default one. Well, you know, Susie, I like to ask questions. So why can life get better and better? Why can my life keep getting better and better? Why can my life keep getting better and better? Because I said so, that's why. Uh, because my beautiful ducklings wish it for me. But when you are caught in this, this wheel, this hamster wheel, words really do matter, guys. And I say it all the time, words matter. And then people tell me, oh no, Susie, they don't matter. It's the feeling. Well, then why is there a hashtag words matter? And I'm not the only one who uses it. Think about this. Logically, words matter because it's what we say to people all day long. We say all day long, no, the swans are not being punished. Chance just moved them that way. Um, just noticed it in my camera. But what do we tell people all day long? What do we say to people? How you doing today? Oh, crappy day. How you doing today? Stressed. How you doing today? Oh, my anxiety's up. How you doing today? I don't feel good. How you doing today? Oh. How you doing today? We have to change the way we say our words. And when you're, oh, or it's the different day, same crap, we gotta go, hmm, huh. how do we get this to turn around? So why can't it turn around? Why can your life be amazing? Why can things look up for you? Why can things get better and better for you? You gotta keep focusing on why it can. Now, there's a method to this madness. So you can say, why does life get better and better? But why can? It's like you're giving the universe permission to show you. Why can you give thanks? Why can you have a good life? Why can the situation turn around for the better? Why can this job show up, this person show up? Whatever it is you need, why can it? Because when you say it can, you're putting it out there and people are hearing, well, why can't this show up? Well, I can deliver it. I'm delivering this message and I don't know why I'm doing this video this morning, but this is just what I sat down to and kind of heard in my head. Why can things get better and better? Why can you have an amazing life? Because the more we focus on what is going right, the more goes right. There's always going to be roller coasters. There's always going to be dips, speed bumps in the road. But how you navigate those speed bumps is by dealing with the situation at hand and focusing on it getting better. Chaos is the fastest way to tear things apart. Because when chaos tears it apart, you should be thanking it because chaos creates movement and it's really fast but I actually came up with an affirmation that I think is way better way better than why can things get better and better so stick around and we'll talk about that but first this is Susie your beautiful swan queen welcome back to the garden my beautiful duckling thank you for subscribing smashing the like button sharing my video I love you I am the best life coach with a 99.6% success rate in getting people back together with the love of their life. If you'd be interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, joining my paid Facebook group where I is the only place I go live, upscaling your money, buying t-shirts from my daughter and bestie, I do subs, you know, the whole drill. Um, the link is in the description below. 
actually have a better affirmation out there. And I don't think I've heard anybody say this. And it can be done in an affirmation, an affirmation, as I like to call them, question statements and phrases. Um, affirmations, no St. John. Why questions? He made up that word. Ask affirmations, David Allen. How questions? Affirmations, I don't know who did that one, but those are I am statements. But if you take a question, a statement, and a phrase, and you have a base to this question, statement, and phrase, you pick a word, right? And I want you guys to play with this for the rest of the month. See how it does. Report it back to me. And then when it works, keep doing it. So many people today are not happy. COVID started it. It really started this, this change in the world. We, a lot of us were, were okay, we were happy, we had a pretty decent life, but when COVID came along and we did all of these lockdowns and we couldn't go do the normal things that we did, I was lucky, I was doing everything I could do except sit in a restaurant. The only thing I couldn't do with COVID lockdown was go sit in a restaurant and have somebody wait on me. Now that COVID's over, but it's not over, because my daughter had a bunch of clients this weekend cancel at the salon due to COVID. I had long-term COVID, basically 16 months of the yeah, thing, but we're not happy. And if we're walking around and we're saying I'm happy and life is amazing and things just keep getting better and better and nothing's working, this will work. I promise you this will work. And yeah, I'm teasing you because I haven't said it yet. I'm teasing you. What word, because I want you to think about this. What word has no negative association with it that you can use that would drastically change your life? What word? Most of us don't have this in our life. We really, truly don't. But this one question, phrase, or statement can drastically change your life for the better. It's really simple. It's fun. Fun. Literally, one word, fun. Where are you having fun in your life? Where are you having fun? Why can you have fun? Why is your life fun? Why is life just getting more and more fun? Because when we start putting the word fun in it, there's no negative association. There's none. And if there's no negative association and you keep walking around saying, why do I have a fun life? Why can I have a fun life? Why is my life getting more and more fun? You are literally changing the trajectory of what the universe is going to deliver to you. I don't like chaos. Chaos is awful. I was with a narcissist for, ugh, I still deal with this person. I've known him my entire life. He's the father of my children, my ex-husband. There wasn't a lot of fun in life. And somebody said they want to bring joy into my life. I don't know what joy is. What is joy? Joy is fleeting moments, fleeting, but fun is fleeting moments. So we, we might laugh at this joke. We might laugh at this TV show. We might laugh at something that somebody does. How many times does somebody um, do something and a lot of people will stand there in shock. Some people will clap. Me, I'm like, yay, do it again. Yay, do it again. It was so much fun. When my kids go anywhere, when I'm talking with clients, um, a lot of times the last thing I'll say to my kids is, I love you, go have fun. I love you, go have fun. They're going out, go have fun. I love you, drive safely. I'm constantly telling people to go have fun. And I've done it my whole life because fun eludes me. Fun's not like my best friend. But what if we actually made fun our best friend? What if we actually made fun our best friend? Then what would happen? Our days would be filled with a lot of good. Because it can be fun to go for a walk. It could be fun to do the dishes. It could be fun to go to work. If you started saying work is fun. Oh my gosh, my work is fun. My job is fun. I love my job. It's so much fun. How are you changing? How does that even feel to say it? At first, it's going to feel real awkward. It's really going to feel awkward. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm not doing the Susie seven day challenge. Cause like, what is it? 
10 days, actually 11 days for the rest of the month. I'm not going to do this for 11 days. Oh God, no, I can't do this for 11 days because if I do this for 11 days, but it's going to take time to change. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to say, what, what, what happened today that was fun? And you can even keep a journal, put it on your notes on your phone. What did you laugh at today? What made you laugh today? Cause like I answered calls for a bank. I did telemarketing. I worked in Walmart and there were days that I laughed. And then there were days that I was so stressed out that I would talk like a three-year-old and the and, and the people who would come to the lunch meat counter loved it, loved it. They're like, um, what are you up to today? I said, I'm having fun. I have fun. I'm free and I have fun. And they're like, you're free? No, free. One, foo, free. I'm having fun. And it would change things. I do a poor Irish accent, according to one of my dear friends. She says it sounds like it's more of an Irish accent with a Pakistani twist. Um, somebody else says it sounds like an Irish with a Mexican twist. But I try. I do. And if I walk around in that accent, whether it's bad or not, if I walk around in that accent, nothing goes wrong that day. Everything goes good. So I changed one thing, the way I my accent is, and all of a sudden I'm having fun. I'm walking through Walmart going, oh, we need one of these in Dublin. It's a wee bit of the outer day and we need one of these in Dublin. I've never seen a Walmart before. Have you ever seen a Walmart before? You just go on and play with it. When you start going into the wee world, it gets too peopley out there. I actually had somebody tell me that. She said, can I ask you something, tell you something? I'm like, yeah. She goes, I don't want to go in public anymore. And I'm like, yes, welcome to my world. And she said, no, I'm not kidding you. I said, no, I totally get it. I don't either. It's too peopley out there. She goes, how did I do it for nine and a half years? Because now she gets the privilege of staying home because she runs her own business. And she works from home. And I said, I don't know. I don't know how we did it. But I do know that there are certain stores that we shop in and the energy of the store is not so good. And then there's other stores that we shop in and the energy of that store is really good. So if you think about this and you work in one of these energy places that's not so good, call centers, um, some retail, some restaurants, um, it's not so good. And then other places you go into and it's a completely different world. Like completely could you imagine walking into a place and there's actually an employee that's willing to help you and is smiling there are places like that that exist but in order to get to places like that that exist we have to do something different and because we're doing something different we're choosing a different word now i'm not saying that you are going to laugh 24 hours a day 18,000 second what is it nah. 86,400 seconds a day. You're not going to laugh 18,262 days. My numbers are off this morning. It's Monday. But let's think about this logically. You get up today and you start going, what, are, what what's going to, why can work be fun today? Why can work be fun today? Why can it be fun? On Mon why, mo why can Monday be fun? Why can Monday be fun? Why can Monday be fun? Why can Tuesday be fun? Why can Wednesday be fun? Why can it be fun to go on this vacation? Why can it be fun to take this road trip? Those are things that we normally, oh, I'm gonna go on vacation and have fun. But that's a week or two weeks or a weekend. I'm talking about building a life. And the more you use the word fun and you say it out loud, the one consciousness hears it, it's rained on eight billion people. And now all of a sudden, What's being delivered to you is fun. So you get an Instacart order, you get a DoorDash order, and your delivery person is smiling. I ordered Chinese the other day, and I gave them directions and details as to how to find my place. And she said, oh, I'm sure they'll find it. I'm like, I understand that, but I like to give a heads up. So then I said, oh, it's going to be fine get a phone call. It's a local number. And I'm like, I don't normally answer numbers. And I'm like, maybe it's my Chinese. So I answered the phone. Good afternoon. And you could hear the smile on this person's face. You could just hear the smile. 
He's like, hey, I'm on your way with your Chinese. I'm going to be there in a few minutes. He said, I was just trying to get a better description of where you're at. And I explained it to him. And I said, normally I tell everybody it's the balcony with the palm tree on it. But because of the cold weather, my palm tree's gone. My Christmas tree's off the balcony. So can't give that description. So I'm trying to explain it. And he's like trying to get it. I said, you know what? Never mind. I'll be on the balcony. And he pulls in and I waved at him. And he brought my Chinese upstairs. He was smiling. He was really happy. Told me have a great day. Asked me a few questions. And off he went. It was a fun experience, a fun exchange. But other people would say it was pleasant because it wasn't pleasant. But what if the exchange was fun? What if the day was fun? Now you're inviting that pleasantry in your life. You're inviting more joy. So it's not going to be fleeting moments. So somebody comes up to you and says, how you doing? I'm having fun. You're having fun? Yep, I'm having fun. Try it. Have fun. And go on your day. And then somebody comes up to you later and says, well, what was fun today? Find something that was fun today to answer it. What was fun today? Well, let's see. What was fun today? Um, I got to sleep late. I got a really nice message. Um, those are pleasant things that happened today, but I can call that fun. It's fun to sleep in. I don't get to do that very often. Spring break. Yay! I get to sleep late. There's a lot of things that we can do to change our life for the better. But pick a word that has no negative association. Because words matter. The word yes has no negative association. The word fun has no negative association. So if you're always having fun, you're revising and projecting. And in the now, life has changed. Sometimes simple things make the biggest change in your life. I dare you to try this till the end of the month. And then, you know, I said it, report back to me and tell me how much your life has changed by using one simple word. We cannot do the same thing day in and day out and expect a different result. We have to change something because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So if you don't wanna be insane, you don't want to be crazy. You don't want to be stressed out. You don't want anxiety to drive you up the wall. Start asking how you're having fun. And think about this. Then your specific person feels that energy of you having fun and they're more drawn to you. And then let's add this up even more. Couples that play together, stay together. If you're having fun together, why would you break up? So if you have a fun marriage, you're not going to break up. You're going to stay together. If you are living with somebody and all of a sudden your relationship starts to get you fun and you start playing together more, enjoying each other's company more, then life is going to change for the better. Your relationship's going to change. What if it's fun to make money? What if it's fun to have a lot of money? Why is having money fun? Why can I have fun and bring money into my life? Why can I have fun? Because money spoils me. We can start answering these questions. But why can you have fun is a good way to start. And anytime somebody says, how are you doing? Respond with, I'm having fun. And watch their faces. And you'll notice the difference. When I started in retail and I had to address people, I went through a struggle with words. I would say, good morning, ma'am. Good evening, sir. They didn't like that. Hello, sunshine. They didn't like that. Hello, love. They didn't like that. But nobody argues against beautiful. Nobody, men or women, don't care who they are, don't care the type of day they're having. When you say, hello, beautiful, it lights up their faces. I saved a lady's life one day because I said, hello, beautiful to her. She said, you think I'm beautiful? And I said, yes, I do. She came back later and thanked me. And I knew she was having a bad day because I could see the tears in her eyes. It didn't stop me from telling her she was beautiful. It doesn't stop me from calling you my beautiful ducklings. 
Words matter so much. And the same words that we repeat over and over and over and over and over and over every single day. Oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not deserving. Then we need to clear those words. And we need to start inviting fun in your life. Self-love isn't about being worthy and deserving of your life. Self-love is about enjoying your life. It's about having fun. Self-love is putting you first and your joy first. And the way most people teach it is, oh, you should be worthy and deserving. You wouldn't feel abandoned. But I don't want to walk around and say, I'm worthy of my desire. I deserve my desire. I would rather run around and say, you know what? Make it happen, universe. Deliver my desire to me in a fun way. Because that's when the magic really happens. When you change a single word in your everyday vocabulary. I love you guys. You have an absolutely positively amazing day. If you've gotten this far in the video, Jason made the post. We're so excited Jason made the post. Travis is healthy. He's cured. It's amazing, wonderful, incredible. Leave me a comment as well and let me know how I am drastically changing your life for the better. And I'm going to start telling you guys this. Tell me what you did today that was fun. Because I said it. We're going to make this year fun. It's already mid-March. How are you having fun? Why is life fun? Why is your life fun? Leave me a comment. We're going to have clicker problems today because I didn't prime him. So the more fun you have, the better your life is. Remember they said the one with the most toys at the end wins? You don't have to have toys to win, but you still have to have fun. Because fun makes your face look better. It makes you feel better. And it gives you a reason to get out of bed. I love you. Have an absolutely positively amazing day, my beautiful duckling. Hmm. Maybe it needs a new battery. Oh well, we're just going to have fun. Well, we're going to go push the button.